It is one of the simplest and most effective ways to stop the spread of COVID-19. Ventilating indoor spaces regularly. Most importantly, the German Federal Environment Agency recommends using CO2 meters in government buildings, in care homes for senior citizens, in offices and in schools. These instruments measure the level of carbon dioxide in the air. Consequently, they not only indicate the quality of the air in the room, but also the concentration of airborne aerosols. High levels of aerosols are considered to represent the dominant route for the spread of COVID-19. When the concentration of CO2 increases, so does the proportion of aerosols. The proportion of aerosols is classified in line with DIN standards and air quality guidelines. These classify room air as hygienically safe when the maximum CO2 concentration does not exceed 1000 ppm. When measured at the start of a typical school day, this level of concentration will climb during the day to a peak value of more than 2500 ppm. The only reasonable approach is to develop a ventilation concept to reduce the concentration of particles in the air. This is where CO2 meters from Wöhler come into their own. They offer reliable oversight of the air quality by monitoring, displaying and documenting increasing concentrations of CO2 as well as the aerosol load in the room air. A built-in infrared detector recognizes CO2 molecules based on their wavelength. This spectroscopic measurement reliably and precisely determines the concentration of carbon dioxide in the room air. If the present threshold value is exceeded in the room air, the meter issues both acoustic and visual alarm signals, so it is possible to act and ventilate the room in good time. The data is recorded continuously. That makes it possible to seamlessly review the room air concept and make appropriate adjustments. The supplied software enables users to read out and evaluate the data easily and quickly. Wöhler CO2 meters and data loggers represent an important and practical tool to help contain the spread of the COVID-19 virus and contribute towards protecting staff, students and seniors when present in rooms in large numbers.